When the broads are, this woman's legs were stiff. You are correct, sir. It was, I didn't know her. And she is a worker of this ministry. I even, even don't know. He was crying on the floor. I don't know, but I was uh, in a prayer line attending to people. One of my boys whispered to me that this is one of our vibrant workers. I said, what are, who is that person? I look at her. I didn't know her. I look at her husband. He was crying. When somebody cried, the face changes. No, me so. So the husband, the face, I don't know him. I said, ah, what's happening? I said, stretch out matter, pampas. That's a case at highest level. So now he said, it's a mem member. 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 Mercy City. Worker. In this condition. And the, she was dying. Even her eyes, tears were going down. She knew that she don't go. She couldn't walk. She couldn't do anything. She could not. She was like that. I said, well, what am I going to do? Let me hear from God. And people were waiting for me here. As I was there, the voice came. It was a partner's meeting that time. A voice came. Jeremiah, my son. Remember the time that when you were coming up from Mercy Land, Take time. If you take time to now speak to me and cast out this demon, then speak to our body, then you will cast out the demon. Then the, she will come back to life. Oh, I said, Pampaso. This woman put on Pampaso. I am communicating with my God. Nobody don't understand. I just stood. We will communicate by seconds. Ah! This woman, what really happened? Because the legs are so lifeless. And I started. I said, let them carry her to this place so that let me, everybody here, see the miracle because the Lord has spoken to me. Doctors from India, doctor from India, doctor from America said, his colleague said, and the report, the medical report, dead. Which is a medical doctor, he knew that it's gone. And the, the tummy was swelling up. She could not eat anything. The legs stiff everywhere. And I started the journey with my God. I said, God of Jeremiah, where are you? You have been doing it before. Do it again and take the glory. You are the one that will add many years in the life of a person. I, Jeremiah, I cannot do it. But you can do it better than any other person. Now, doctors have failed. Doctors in Nigeria, in India, in abroad, in America, all of them failed. But you are the doctor of all doctors. Jesus. Perform your miracle and take the glory so that let the world begin to know that you are God. Ah. That's how I started. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The two bean shaped structures there, like mangoes or something, red, yeah. are the kidneys. Each person has two. Two at the back. Yes. Now, um, the urine you pass out is formed by the kidneys. Yeah. The kidneys going down, each one. They are called the ureters. They are actually tubes. Such as the urine is formed from those structures, they move down from those pipes into the one that's down, that is the bladder. Every human um, will have the bladder. So what happens is, as that bladder becomes filled, it stretches. That is when you have that urge to pass the urine. So in the event that any area from that kidney, the tubes, that bladder, if there is any issue along that point, then you know there is something going on. Now, if you still extend that bladder down, there is what they call the urethra, from where the urine will eventually pass out. So along this tract, from that urethra, the bladder, those tubes, the kidneys, is the urinary tract. 
So which means an infection, anything can happen along this tract and the person has issues. So if, for instance, it happens over time, it's not managed early, the person can have issues with any of them, ultimately a kidney failure or a kidney disease or anything. It could be from drugs, it could be from anything. But once this becomes bad, then it's a... Well, if, if it's managed early or managed properly, there is a chance because some persons actually have one and they are able but to... But if the two of them will be damaged, what will if happen? If the two of them are damaged, there is a possibility of a kidney transplant. But kidney transplants, they have their own issues. Sometimes you might not get the donor, you might not get the appropriate kidney, there might be issue of time. Now, even when you get the kidney... And Before you get there... Yes, sir. Even when you get the kidney and it has been transplanted, there's also what they call rejection, meaning your body might reject. That. Reject the kidney? Yes, sir. Problem again? Yes. That might be an issue on its own, so it's a complicated... It's only God? Story. Yes, sir. Ultimately. Okay, let's see what happens.
Healing continues. They took a step, small, small. What doctor said, no hope again. And she says, Oh, I can walk like this. My prophets. But without support, she couldn't walk. At that stage, I said, Bring her back again. Let me see, talk to my God. I said, I have to take time. And God told me, the time when you were at the mercy land, she said, I'll take time to heal the sick. This sickness. So as, as I'm moving around, I am talking to my God in order to bring her back to life. So, the case was so, 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 so severe and I don't know how to mention or qualify it. So it was the angels of God that he led. So I was talking to my God. God, God, I really took time because I was talking to God because I take the instruction from God. It's not man that is in. That this way I want to carry her. I said, carry her out. But she said, no, 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 wait first. Wait first, wait first. So I said, don't worry. Oh God, the doctor said, what am I seeing? Is it my wife? I said, I want to carry her out. Oh. <laughs> they said, now you want to carry her? Now you know. But God, so I still listen. All that what I'm doing there, I am still talking to my God. I said, I want to carry her out. Oh. <laughs> I want to carry her out. Oh. I said, oh, this case. <laughs> well, and you know. But I beg now, Daddy. I beg. The husband is still crying. I said, that leave her. Leave her. Just listen. Carry her out. Let me just listen. Let me do something. As we're now going outside to so demean this auditorium for everybody to see this miracle, they have blocked me at the road. What I said, no. I don't blame them because they don't hear from God. They are doing their best in order to save our name. But Jesus is the Lord. This is the medical report that they brought. They said, nothing, nothing, the kidneys are damaged. Nothing can save her anymore. But the God of Jeremiah is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. So, that how she also waiting for the time. Is this thing coming? She's praying on her own. And I came back again and start again. The Lord said, go and do, perform the miracles and give the glory to me. I am crying to God. All that I am crying, I'm listening to God. That's why whatever the prophet tells you, follow up. It's not ordinary word. Some people don't look at the, don't look at the prophet. You know that he's a prophet. Follow his instructions. So that's how I started again with the water of life. I said, water of life, if I'm alive. So I was crying. I was crying to God. God. I dropped some into her own hand for her to not this it. Look at the prophets. That will tell you that it's not a day job. It's not easy. Because doctors have tried their best. And they are right. That's the best that they've tried. I took time again. I said, Jesus. Take it, do it, and take the glory. Stand her up again. She must walk by fire by force. I don't know what's called kidney failure. This sin must go. Come and walk. This time, walk now. The Lord said, Come and let her walk. Nobody should hold her anymore. Let her take a step. Let her walk. 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 Let her walk on her own. Let her walk. Walk, walk, walk. That's how she started walking. The husband, the doctor, the medical doctor, her husband was very, very excited. And I said, Look, wave your hands because look, this is me, your prophet. You will not die again. Don't be afraid anymore. Satan is a liar. Satan is a liar. Satan is a liar. I said, Laugh with me. That house said, Laugh with me. I said, This is the end of your situation. The Lord has healed you. She said, my father, you are my father. There's no other one like you. 
you are really sent by God. I said, it is done. Go! Go! Nobody should hold again. Go! Go! And now how she walks. She walks. And she walks. And people, everybody there began to clap for Jesus. She was praising Jesus. And she was celebrating. Celebrating. I said, it is done. Do you know that I am your father? Do you know that Jesus is real? She said, this is true. So I said, sit down. From now, the medical doctor. <laughs> so I was a medical doctor. Medical doctor. He said, it is done. Mercy land. Had enough solution and power. Mercy land. Had enough solution and power. Thank you, Jesus. That was what happened that very day. <laughs> I am very, very happy. Very, very, very happy. I thank God of Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufuni. A God of possibility. A God of wonders. May his name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Now I want to ask you something. When you took her to the hospital, I said after that, just take her to another hospital. Not the, the hospital that she left. Yes, daddy. Take her to another hospital. When you, take, when you took her to the hospital, what they told you, the test, and they, they run the test, what was the re report? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. After that very day, I we went back to another hospital. As a prophet directs. My father prophet. said, don't go back to that hospital. Mm -hmm. You know, in Latin Proverbs, said propheta lucuta cosa finita est. When the prophet says, we have no choice than to just obey. And so, I had no other decision to take than to follow his instruction. And so I took my wife to, the, to another hospital. When we arrived there, they admitted her. The battle was not like before. And then they commenced treatment. I kept my mouth shut. I didn't want to tell the medical personnel or the nurses what happened. I just said, let me see what will happen. Maybe I did not have the confidence or maybe I wasn't sure. So I now say, okay, that was on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I instructed the hospital that they should carry out another test, precisely the one that will tell me instead what is wrong with the kidney. So the nurse said, okay, no, we have not gotten to that. We are just, I said, no, just go, go ahead, go ahead. They said, okay, no problem. So they collected the sample and then they conducted the test and then the result came out. I didn't want to look at the result. I said, <laughs> you don't want to look at the result. So when the medical director said I should come to the office, I said, no, I want to buy something. <laughs> I just <laughs> Another, the doctor that carried out the test now called the doctor. Husband, doctor, come on, come and see your work. Oh, you know the team. So come and see. He will he now play while you're 419. <laughs> He said, the test you asked me to conduct, the result is ready. I said, okay, is it ready? He said, yeah, it's okay, I'll let it be in the evening time. He said, come now, I will not be around. I said, no, let it be in the evening time. And so like that, not that very day, the next day, I said, okay, let me look at the results. So he now said, look at it. I said, no, just read. Uh, just read, tell read, me, read. Tell you me read. what is happening. So I was just standing in the office. So I now said, just start from the kidney. So he now said, Oh, you, you said start from the, yeah, let the, me, main, the main point. Yeah. <laughs> so you now say, look at it now. Look at it. There's nothing wrong with the kidney. Yeah. Ah! Somebody! Somebody!